Hello, welcome to another episode of eTraining Guides. Today we're going to be talking about VMware Fusion 12 Pro. It was just released last week and today we're going to talk about some of the new features and requirements for installing VMware Fusion 12 and how to do that. So with that, let's get started. Now one of the requirements you'll need is the uh, macOS hardware that supports Mac um, 10.15 Catalina or greater. So there are all link in the description below the list of those models. If you're already at Catalina, then you're ready to go ahead and install VMware Pro, uh, VMware Fusion Pro. Um, so I already have Catalina. So those are the main two requirements. And what's new in VMware Fusion 12? You have support for Big Sur on the host as well as on the virtual machine. Uh, external GPU support attached to the host. Whatever GPU you have attached to the host will be supported. Um, new uh, OS support for Linux machines. You also have ESXi 7.0 support now with this version. And you'll have a larger scale VMs, for example, 32 virtual CPUs, as well as 128 gigabytes of RAM. Now your host has to be able to handle that. So your host probably needs to be a beast if you want that many um, virtual CPUs. And then of course you have a support for eight gigabytes of virtual CPU memory support and some performance improvements as well. And I'll link in the description all of the, all of the new features um, that supported. So with that, let's get started. So I've got the installer here. You just double click on it. Just make sure that you uh, don't have VMware running. And I've already downloaded it. The cost for the upgrade is about a $99. Um, now, if you haven't purchased a previous version, you'll have to buy the full license. Uh, I'm not sure of the cost of that, but if you just do an upgrade, it's relatively um, inexpensive-ish. Okay. Okay, gonna put my license agreement. All right, once you put in your license um, key, then you'll say thank you for using the professional. So it's already installed. And as you can see, you go to VMware, about, and there it is. 12. Now this is going to require the VMware tools to be upgraded and it should do it automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and start with one of my domain, my VMs. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. Now I'll just do this one as an example. I'll still have to do that on all of my VMs that I have, which isn't that many, but I'll still have to, I got to load them all anyway. And this usually takes a few minutes per VM, depending on how many you have. All right, I've logged into my VM, and it's probably going to, it should automatically install the VMware tools required for this upgrade. Let's see if it's upgraded it already. Nope, not yet. You can see it's not listed yet, so it's going to be doing that in a second. There it goes. There you go. Yep, so it's going to reboot after the VMware tools install. And then when it reboots, it should be at the newest version of VMware tools for uh, the 12. And as you can see, I've opened up programs and features. And you can see right here, VMware tools has been upgraded. And that's the version for VMware Pro 12. And that's basically it. So um, that's basically it, and then I just have to do that on every, uh, all of my new, um, my, all my VMs. So I can start doing that now. And it'll take anywhere between five-ish minutes per each VM, depending on how many you have. So it won't take that long. Um, and that's basically it. I'm gonna leave all the information about the new VMware tools. Uh, I'm sorry, VMware Pro 12 uh, in the link in the, uh, comment section below. Uh, I do want to point out just a couple little things to be aware of. I'm going to just bring this over here. All right, so you can see now if you've if you've used removal of restricted virtual machines, that's no longer that's end of life, and it's been removed in VMware Fusion 12. So keep that in mind if you're using that. That's going to be removed in VMware 12. Um, and then there's some list of some known issues. It's resolving some issues in the past. For like example, um, two terabyte USB drives on the guest OS, um, not able to use uh, the two terabyte USB drive in the guest operating system. 
when you upgraded to the previous 11.5.5. So um, that's basically, and there's some other known issues that it resolved and stuff like that. So again, there's a lot of other things um, to go over, but I just wanted to highlight the main few points in terms of here's the, um, the operating system that it supports the new guest operating system for Linux. So that's good news if you're using any of these versions as well as the EXX, ESXi 7.0 support. And of course you got your um, external GPU. And then of course these are all the different models of the Mac models that support VMware Fusion Pro 12. Um, so there you have it. Um, so that's pretty good. So it's got a lot of good support there. And, and then your system requirements. So there's a lot of, so I'm gonna link this article in the comment section below and in the description so you can review the release notes for VMware Fusion 12. Um, again, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching, have a great day, and see you next time, bye-bye.